watching cowgirl chicks live their life in the rodeo world. For the past 16 years, they have had the honor of witnessing some of the greatest acts and personnel in the rodeo business today. The chicks share their stories of famous cowboy and cowgirls they have met on the trail while performing on the rodeo circuit. Heartwarming stories of the dedication and love it takes to be an athlete in the rodeo world today. Meet the one and only, the legendary J.W. Stoker, our trick riding coach. The chicks made J.W. a promise and are committed to carry the torch of trick riding on and keep it alive in the sport of rodeo today. Stronger America with the youth of rural America. RFD TV takes you straight to a cowgirl's heart as they go behind the shoots and experience the grit, the guts, and the life of the all American cowgirl chicks. Hold on, you're in for a great ride. Hi, I'm Trish Lynn with the All-American Cowgirl Chicks, and this time we take you to the State Fair of Virginia, where it's the home of the famous racing horse legend, Secretariat. When we pulled up, we loved seeing all the setup of the exhibits, the food, the fun, the crafts, but most of all, the youth that was involved. All the 4-H drill teams were there. We actually got to spend some personal time with these young ladies and young men on horseback and got to see all kinds of routines that they did. It was a great opportunity for us. We really enjoyed being with the youth as well as the schools let out. They had a lot of school buses there that let the kids enjoy the day of learning about the life of agriculture and the cowboy and cowgirl way. So you don't wanna miss it. Hang tight, hold on for a great ride. We're standing here in front of the actual training barns uh, on the meadows, which was the great racehorse farm where Secretariat came from. This is the part of the barns where the, when the colts were long yearlings and early two-year-olds that they were brought in from over in the falling area. I was talking to some of the people here and they said that a lot of the handlers still live in this area. One of the greatest stories that they ever told was that Secretariat was, was bad to get out of places. It said he got out of his stable and was actually walking down the middle of Highway 30 up here and a log truck tops the hill. Well, the log truck, luckily, you know, for the sake of history, got his truck stopped and caught this colt and said the people down here on the hill were just going crazy looking for this colt. Said here comes a logger walking down the hill leading him down and said, does this belong to y'all or y'all missing a horse? And that horse was the great secretariat. We were standing here where greatness was. And everyone should appreciate the opportunity to get to see this historical place and the actual beginnings of something as great as the secretariat, who was the greatest horse racer of all time. I'm Ginger with the All-American Cowgirl Chicks. We are here with Sadie and Cheyenne. And our guest today is Doug Minton. And he is a professional reining trainer and he shows reining horses. Uh, he actually got he let Hattie yesterday on one of his reining horses in front of the audience. And so she got a little taste of the reining world. How did you like that, Hattie? Um, it was a once in a lifetime opportunity, especially being on Doug Minton's reining horse. Um, that horse was awesome. I couldn't be on a better one, that's for sure. What did you think about our performance. I, I was spellbound. I, I, it, I thought it was awesome. I, I always look at, at with any competition, barrel racing and what have you, anything like that, rider skill level, because I'm always looking for my next trainer. <laughs> and uh, I, I was just totally impressed with what you do for an audience at the level in which you do it, and more importantly, at the speed in which you do it. I was impressed. I was, I was very impressed. But we watch you girls ride out there, and they're like, they, they know how to ride. With, that's not a problem. So it's just a matter of getting a little finesse. Um, what I do for a living is exactly what I did with you. And 
I take a broke reining horse and match it to a rider and give them the instructions. And so it, it went just as I expected it because I've seen it happen before. And, and seeing your face light up, which I couldn't <laughs> see, but everybody in the stands saw uh, when you did that slide and stop and when you said, whoa, on the spin, it, it's, it's pretty fantastic. But yeah, I work with a lot of beginners, a lot of rookies. And this is what we do, try to match them up with a good broke horse. So, but it actually went quicker. <laughs> it, it normally takes two or three lessons like that to get somebody to go. So, yeah, you got the skills. Did you get a good response from it from the crowd? Did you have a lot yeah, of people the crowd, up? Yeah, the, the crowd, I, I think, seemed to really appreciate it, especially when she cracked that spin and, <laughs> and said, whoa, and the horse just hit the brakes, and, and her eyes went up oh, like that. I was like, so, oh yeah, my gosh, yeah, they, the spot. They, yeah, the crowd response was really good, especially when she run down through there and did that last last little slide and stop and roll back it was pretty it was pretty cool now i was told that he was going to go into the world this in the next few weeks. he is he is qualified in two divisions and uh, we'll show him probably the day after thanksgiving at the uh, nrha uh, uh, maturity uh, he'll show in the uh, north of uh, the adequan championships in two divisions uh, for the world championships and that's a that's an invitation only to, to get to you have to qualify he was reserve champion at the northeast and region championships in new in new jersey and that got me the invitation to oklahoma showing you've had him for six months yeah just wow. this summer the virginia Rain horse association wanted me to uh, thank y'all for participating in it and i think it was a little bit of a surprise for you it was so they, uh, <laughs> it was a good surprise yeah <laughs> they uh they enjoyed having it and, and and i always do anything that i can do to promote the nrha sport and the national Rain horse association it's uh it's just it's been good to me and i enjoy it it's a lot of fun <laughs> well thank you very much doug we thank you it's been a pleasure thank nice you. having thank you thank you nice yeah. meeting you nice meeting you as well yeah don't miss out on your holiday Christmas shopping. Check out the Cowgirl Chick store at www.cowgirlchicks.com. The Cowgirl Chicks have their very own country music, cool posters, Cowgirl Chick t-shirts, and bling bling jewelry. Tack and rodeo equipment for every cowgirl in the equestrian business. Our very own horse hair extensions, made by Gypsy Tails. I'm with the Skyline Riders out of Virginia, and we're here at the Virginia State Fair, where they just performed for the 4-H. And tell me a little bit about y'all sales really fast. Um, we're the Skyline Riders drill team, and y'all have been together since August. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Since August. You did a great job. We love doing it. Yeah. We love TV. Which one of them is Virgil? Virgil's in that red shirt. Can you tell me your name? My name's Grant. Grant? Very Very Awesome. Zach. Zach? You boys oh, like RFP TV? Yeah. Yes. I do too. What's your favorite show? Uh, the Cowgirl Chicks. Mm-hmm. Who are the Cowgirl Chicks? Oh, <laughs> okay. You think you can handle that, Ray? This? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. We're good to go. Yeah, yeah, she got me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, oh, oh. After we got the first day behind us, uh, we kind of got a reality check of two performances back to back. The arena was twice the size of what we're usually running in, and it got a little difficult for the horses. The dirt was a little deep. It was harder for them to run in. They were tiring out. So the girls got concerned. I got concerned as a coach uh, that we weren't going to be able to pull off our best, and we didn't really have a lot of extra horses to pull up to the plate. So, But all in all, for the love of each other, for the sport of what we do, and for those fans, the girls went out and pumped the heart of a champion, and the horses are incredible. I mean, it, it's just uh, a saying that we never get tired of saying that uh, we would not be where we're at without those horses. We give them all credit and they did a great job.
You know, folks have always been amazed about what I can put in a bottle, like this and this. My Cowboy's Cowboy barbecue sauce, salsa, and rub. Bottled up inside is the bold taste of Texas, rich and full of flavor. So pick up a bottle and just put a piece between your cheek and gum, or even better, fill up your whole mouth. Walt Garrison's Cowboy's Cowboy products. Look for them at your favorite grocery store. A special thing happened to us uh, in Virginia. We got approached by a group uh, from the Lonesome Dove Equestrian Therapeutic Riding Center here in Virginia. Um, after they saw our performance and dedication to the military, we had no idea that they had formed a drill team, um, which is similar to what we do, equestrian riders on horseback, for our veterans. Um, these gentlemen that, and, and women that come back from the war, it gives them something to do to get their mind off and kind of help rehabilitate them back into the real world. We got to meet with a uh, military man by the name of David Buckley. A, a great opportunity arised where they asked if he could ride in our opening with us. We did not hesitate. It was absolutely an honor. He served in the United States Army, so he held that flag during the opening. But another great thing is, is we supplied him the horse, Cody, the bay horse that was given to us from RFD TV. So what a contribution uh, that was for us to give back to this gentleman and his family. And he was so proud, and uh, we were proud to be with him in that performance that day. It was, uh, it, it was very humbling. Not only that, we decided to donate uh, one of our United States flags that we had run previously uh, in the performances before we had met him and dedicated it and donated it to him and his family. So it was a great opportunity for us, but it just makes us uh, feel so privileged to live in the United States of America and be with a true American hero. Hi, I'm Brandy with All American Cowgirl Chicks and we are interviewing Ariel Malott. Ariel Malott, she was a trick tape holder today for us. It was definitely an experience. Um, it was amazing. You guys definitely impressed me. I don't think I'd ever do that. Um, definitely, I can see you guys practice a lot, but that's very impressive. So. Was it any different being on the inside of the arena from outside the arena? Definitely. I mean, you got to see all the techniques and how they got up quicker. And, yeah. 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 Did it feel faster? Oh, yeah. Lots faster. Lots faster. Your dad yes. just got back from Afghanistan. So, how was that? I'm very grateful that um, his dad, um, God, is definitely really great. Um, he was over there for 10 months. He was a contractor. And so we definitely heard of all the stories over there. And I've always had respect for military families and Army families. But now I can see from a totally different perspective how it is to have a family or love member to have a be over there. And so... So, do you did it change your outlook on the military and all that when he went over there? Yeah, I mean, I've always had a great respect for them, but now even more my heart goes out to families that have that or have lost someone over there. My name is Kenny Moore. <laughs> it's been a pleasure working with you. But what do you usually do out here besides just... Well, I'm actually in charge of working the equine area and dragging the rings and doing all that, but uh, outside of that, I own a landscaping business, so oh, cool. I'm just kind of awesome. here as a volunteer and we get a little paycheck at the end of the fair, but it's just all in fun. Awesome. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here. Steve. We appreciate it. Appreciate having you all here. He keeps us clean in the arena, too. <laughs> <laughs> On this team, we're all united in a common goal, to give our best and to keep our job. Are you ready to be an all-American cowgirl chick? You and your horse will experience performing at rodeos, theme parks, fairs across the country. Appear on national television. Share your experience and knowledge mentoring the youth on rodeo.
Receive extensive training in horsemanship, showmanship in the rodeo arena today. Come on, auditions coming in 2012. For more information for requirements, contact Trish Lynn at cowgirlchips.com. Hold on, you're in for a great ride. Cowgirl chicks, the number one ladies on in America. You're in, you're in Cajun land. Name. And we love RFDTV. You bet. <laughs> Say, I love the cowgirl chicks. You know, after the performance here in Virginia, we're going to head back to Texas, work our real jobs for a few days, and then we're going to be back on the road, headed to Franklinton, Louisiana, the world's largest free fair. People come from everywhere because it's free. It's going to be a blast. And we're so excited to see our favorite friend and mentor, guy that we are just so in love with in the rodeo business, Mr. Rudy Barnes. You know, life on the road is tough. It's tough on a marriage because you're gone having fun, the wife's home raising kids. But, you know, I, I was blessed with a good one from the Redneck Hills in Mississippi. And uh, it, it, it's been a great life for me. And, and now she realized it's been a great life for all of us. You know, and they realized that I was doing this because I loved it and everything. My son, he grew up and got to want the rodeo. He team roped and bulldog for a while. Is it hard to find a wife when you're just like a clown all the time? Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, Anywhere scary. from this big to this big. Okay. It is my wife's britches. <laughs> my mentor, which is here working with me this year in his late 70s, Rick Young, I used to watch him and Mr. H.R. Williams and uh, Cajun Kid and, uh, you know, these guys that was just phenomenal bullfighters, you know, and, and funny men. You know, back then you had to do it all. You had to be funny. You had to fight the bulls, you had to work the barrel. Nowadays, rodeo's gone so much, you know, we got bullfighters, we got funny men, and we got barrel men. But back then, when I used to go to LSU rodeos, I, man, I, I would watch the other events, but when that bull riding started and them clowns come out, I wouldn't even let them sell snowballs in my section. And, and to end up being a rodeo clown as much as I admired them when I was a kid has just been special, you know. It's been 40 years of this and as long as it stays fun, I'm going to keep doing it. Whenever it's not fun anymore, I'm going to hang it up, stay home and buy me a camp on the river and fish. When I wake up in the morning, I'm Rudy Burns. When I go to bed at night, I'm Rudy Burns. Right. I, you know, be yourself. Have fun. If you're not having fun, find you something else to do. This is a hard life. You stay on the road. You miss your family, you know, and, and you, you live on fast food and everything. When you make it fun, people can see it. And I've been wearing this one face now probably 35 years. And you see the little heart that I put on my chin? Well, what I did, I went to a rodeo one day, and I went to school and a little boy, we were sitting down there talking to a bunch of school kids and the little kid looked at me and said, where's your heart? I said, my heart's right here. He said, no, the one that goes on your chin. I forgot to put that heart on my chin. And this kid noticed that that heart wasn't on my chin. So that made me realize these kids pay attention. Watch what you do, watch what you say. If you don't, it's gonna come back on you. Now let it make people laugh. And y'all know as well as I do, I'm always having some jokes. I'm always pulling jokes on people. I'm always pulling pranks on people. And that's what makes it fun. The funniest thing that ever happened to me was at a rodeo in Memphis, Tennessee, and my clown dummy is dressed just like me. So I took the Bill Clinton head and stuck it on me, put the dummy in the closet and hid in the corner. <laughs> when Lisa came in there and picked that dummy up, I said, what do you want? And it scared him so bad. He fell over the chairs, knocked the pee trap out of the sink, and that's probably one of the best. And of course, Rick Young here, we was at a rodeo, and he'd get up in the morning and take his dog outside, and he was on the Herbalife kick. He would take the Herbalife vitamins. Well, one night he got up and he took his dog outside. Well, I dumped his Herbalife vitamins out, and I filled it up with kibbles and bits. <laughs> Next morning, he came there to take his vitamins, and he put a whole mouthload of those kibbles and bits 
die running all out of his mouth. Oh, he got mad. When I first started, you know, I, would, I stayed pretty banged up because you got to put yourself in front of them guys, them bulls that save these guys, and if you don't do your job, you don't get to work. And you know, these bulls, somebody small like me, it's, it's not as bad on me, they'll throw me out of the way. But a bigger bullfighter like you got, like, like the late Jimmy Anderson and some of them guys that are big, big guys, I was very fortunate, no really, really bad, I broke my foot. Had numerous stitches and, you know, broke ribs, you live with them. But, you know, I craved fighting them bulls, I still want to do it, and at 62 years of age, I, I know I ain't got no business out there, but I want to get in front of them so bad. We're a big family. You know, and I worry about him. This that little one hanging upside down on that horse. You know, and, and, and it just makes me nervous. As far as I'm concerned, you know, I know that y'all the best they are. Y'all do a great, great show. Y'all do the concert. Y'all do the trick riding. You know, Roman riding. The American flag. Y'all done it. Mesquite was awesome. The great big flag. That was wild. Now, and. Uh, you know, it's just things like that. You've got to give the public something for the money they're paying to get them to come back. And as long as y'all keep doing what y'all doing and having fun, it's the greatest thing going. But I really believe that people come to the rodeo to watch the rodeo clowns fight the bulls. They come to watch the bulls hit the barrel, and we're getting away from it. And we need to go back with the fighting bulls. That's my, that's my biggest peeve, mm -hmm. you know. The, the acts that are going down the road now and, and everything are a lot better than they were years ago. The props are better, you know. The, even the performance are more athletic type. But we're getting away from old time rodeo and that's what brings people here to watch a rodeo, which is an old time sport. Everybody and likes to good hooking. You bet. Everybody, Everybody wants to see you get run over but me. <laughs> Being on the road myself, you know, for 16 years is not near as much as, you know, you've been on the road. but. You know, we've met a lot of good people, but I guess not just because you're standing here either. One of the main people we always look forward to go seeing is Rudy. Like, we you like that cooking, don't you? We, well, we like, we like the cooking, too. But it's just the fact that, you know, you it's hard when we come up somewhere new. It's a different stock contact we've never been before. You, you've seen us come from the bottom, and you've seen us where we are now. And it's just a respect level that we have with you, and we appreciate that because you do, you do realize how much practice we do put behind this. And it's not just a weekend warrior thing. We do try really hard, but it's the same with you. You know, you're always out here cleaning your stuff, making sure it's proper. Just because you're a clown don't mean you can throw things together. When I, when I met y'all, you know, it, Y'all came to these rodeos, I tell you, you know, park right here, they're gonna feed you over here, you know, thing you need to do here, you need to watch this, because, you know, like I said, I'm gonna take care of you as long as I'm around, and if they don't like it, well, they just have to fire us off. <laughs> no, we're just happy to be here, and we're happy to have friends like you up here. You know, I just, I wish y'all was everywhere we go. I love TV, especially where I'm at right now. <laughs> We love this lifestyle, we love being with our rodeo friends, but most of all, we are truly thankful for you fans. So thank y'all so much for hanging in there with us. Don't miss the next show on the All-American Cowgirl Chicks with RFD TV. This is Ginger. She's doing my version of a uh, black human thing. She can't do it as well as me, and of course mine's better. Come on, Chopper. I need to turn back because there's a really, really good and delicious hog wild barbecue place over there. And I really love my pig, so I really don't want them to have my pig. This is Chopper, by the way. Come on. Come on, do it. Oh my god. Okay. Come on. He needs a lot more words. 